Hello everybody, welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back with an interesting video for you. Today I want to talk about the Optimus Polaris OptiFuel stove. This is a very neat stove. The cool thing about this thing is it only uses one jet for just about any fuel. The thing comes with a fuel bottle it'll use liquid fuels and it'll also use canister, canister fuels so let me give you a quick look at the box and the packaging so here's what the packaging looks like so the fuel bottle is a 0.4 liter fuel bottle it says here it says single jet opti fuel expedition stove for outstanding performance with all common outdoor fuels including LPG gas canisters without needing to change the, the burner jet self purging flip stop pump clears the burner of fuel and depressurizes the fuel bottle no plastic parts for long lasting performance now honestly the their, their self purging feature is not nothing new MSR does this on a lot of their stoves as well so does Primus and it's a pretty common feature a magic magnetic cleaning needle clears the burner jet while you're cooking so that's something new I mean MSR stoves have had what they call the shaker jet technology which is really cool you just shake the stove and the needle goes up and down in the in the uh, in the jet and that works pretty good now it says includes heat reflector and adjustable windscreen for improved performance and efficiency includes a convenient stuff bag and also a 0.4 liter fuel bag, uh, bottle and the website is optimusstoves.com if you can see that at the very bottom down here let's take a look at the back of the packaging uh, again it's pretty much the same thing that I read a second ago uh, but it says one jet any fuel the Optimus Polaris Opti fuel is the new benchmark for maximum versatility and ease of use in outdoor cooking with its single jet technology it delivers excellent cooking performance with LPG excuse me LPG gas white gas kerosene diesel fuel jet fuel without having to change anything on the stove the patented quick priming burner the self purging aluminum pump and a built in magnetic cl cleaning needle ensure reliability and ease of use when liquid fuels are used when using LPG gas you can switch between efficiency mode and four season mode for usage at low temperatures by simply uh, opening the integrated support legs and turning the canister upside down now the MSR has a stove called a, um, a whisper light universal and it uh, does that with these fuel canisters it allows you to run it in liquid fuel mode so that's pretty cool so there's a little bit of that and then on the back or excuse me on the side here doesn't really say too much and the top of the box that's what you see and then let's see what's on the bottom nothing so let's go ahead and open this baby up, take a look, see what's inside. So the first thing I see is a very thick owner's manual. Boy, that thing is thick. Written in every language under the sun. So English is the first language. Cool thing about that, it's only 17 pages that you need to read. So even though this looks kind of scary by how thick it is it's only 17 pages it's just thick because it's in so many different languages so that's pretty cool next thing I see is this and this is a aluminum windscreen I'm, I'm, I believe let's go ahead and open this up there's a round one and there's one to go around the stove. This one goes below the stove and this one goes around the stove. I'll talk about that more here in a second. So let's pull this out. This is the bag that the stove comes in. The bag feels pretty heavy duty. It's got a good cord on it. 
pretty good heavy duty filling bag. Over here, there's nothing else inside there other than right here, there's a fuel bottle. That's a good sized little fuel bottle. I think it was a 0.4 of an ounce, a 0.4 liter fuel bottle. And it's got these little lines that's how much you're supposed to fill it 300 milliliters. Now let's take a quick look at the stove. So I'm going to push this button, pull the bag open. First thing I see is the pump. Let's talk about that. Let's see what we got going on here. First thing I notice is this is knurled. This is kind of cool. This is a fuel filter. Hopefully you can see that. It screws on, so that's kind of cool. So I'm take I take it you can purchase little filters probably and change them out. The next thing I notice is this piece. And this is kind of kind of neat, I'm thinking. There's probably a spring in there with a ball or something. So there we have it. There's a little rubber piece that's sitting inside of a spring. And that goes inside of here. Just like this. And what that does is that seals against this piece right here. So that's pretty cool. I was able to get it loose with just my fingers. And if you couldn't, it has a slot for a flathead screwdriver. Now let's take a look here. This just spins. This is a Lindale fitting and it has something kind of unique. It's got a on off switch or valve on the pump itself. That's kind of cool. Everything's knurled pretty nice. Right here this is knurled. Let's take this off and see what the pump looks like. The cup on the pump is leather. That's cool. I like that. There's a look inside the pump. So you have the leather. I like the leather because if you are in the field you can put saliva on that leather and it'll bring it back to life and pump. So I'm guessing when I push this plunger the air is going to come out here. Pretty cool little pump. So that's the pump. What else do I have in the bag? I have the actual stove itself but we're going to look at that here in a minute couple more things. Here's some Optimus lubricant. This is probably for the pump. This is uh, white grease. That's cool. And then here's the patented Primus tool. This will fix everything on the stove. And this is the magnet that you would use for the jet. Let's take a look at the, 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 the stove. So this is the first look at the stove. Here's the bottom have these nice little pot supports or feet I guess you would say. There's a real big piece of uh, metal right here that folds out for the valve. That's kind of cool. Folds it in against it. The fuel line is a little bit thin but that's not really that big of a deal. On the end of the fuel line you can see there's a Lindell connector and that's to connect to these types of fuel canisters like this. So the stove will work off of those. Now these are the arms that they were talking about for four season mode. They flip out and they feel pretty comfortable. They're actually pretty solid feeling. Everything feels pretty good. Let's talk about the legs. Those click right into place. That is kind of cool. Look at this. Look at how this works. They just push in. You know you can see right here. It just pushes in. Clicks right into place. Pretty cool. I like how the feet on this thing are big. The feet are very large. And that's pretty cool. Now if you look down inside you can see the jet in there. It's got a flight head in it where you can take the jet out. I'm guessing you could take the uh, tool here. Probably take the tool here and pop this deflector off. That's a look at the inside. You can see the wick down in there. You can also see the jet. And if I shake this, you can hear the needle in there. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take this little 
owner's manual or whatever this is off this hazard tag here because I don't want it interrupting with my valve that I'm going to be turning on and off to adjust the flame this piece here let's put that aside and let's keep looking at the stove I'm curious um, they say that when you run this magnet underneath the stove it pushes the jet up so I'm I'm, I'm assuming that you know how magnets when you sometimes they attract and then sometimes you reverse the polarity and it and they they go away from each other so I'm thinking that's what they're doing here so the the theory is that you can I can hear the jet hear that I can hear it moving it's not me scraping the bottom that's the jet moving let's take a look and see if we can pop that baby out I'm curious what it looks like Okay, it's not tight or anything. This uh, reminds me of a lot of the stoves, particularly the MSR Dragonfly. It kind of reminds me of that. So I'm going to loosen this with the tool. The tool fit it just great. It wasn't too tight. I'm going to dump this in my hand. There's the shaker needle. I don't know. So yeah, it causes it to move. It's actually magnetic. So there's the jet. Again, you only have one jet for this stove. So to reinstall it, I'm going to put the, the the needle inside the jet here. My phone's going crazy. That's why I'm having trouble talking. And I'm going to put the stove right on top of this needle get it started there's not really a need to take this out folks Let's tighten this baby down we want to make sure that we're that we have the jet in place so I'm putting it face down because I don't want to tighten it against the jet accidentally so I want to make sure everything's on the up and up here I think it's very neat that, that somebody finally made a stove that doesn't require changing jets. And I'm guessing, let's see if we can shake it and hear that needle. Sounds good. So that's pretty cool. This is the valve. You just turn that baby off, on, things of that nature. So the fuel bottle has a child proof lid so you have to push the lid down and then turn it this is very similar to a lot of your fuel bottles I mean, you can probably compare it to an MSR fuel bottle something like this kind of the same thing it's got the safety mechanism on it now I'm just curious if the thread pitch is the same Well, I'm kind of cross-threading here, but feels like it's different threads. So it might be a proprietary thread pitch. Let's see what happens here. No, it's the same. So you could use a different bottle if you needed to. Okay, that's pretty cool. But this is the one that comes with it. I like it. It's real small. Pretty cool pretty cool little bottle yeah if you compare the the mouth of the bottle to the MSR it's pretty much kind of the same thing I like how MSR has a little more threads it's kind of cool a little more going on there so that's pretty much the stove that is again that's the Optimus Polaris it'll use liquid fuel you can use these isopro fuels and if you're not sure what these look like, this is what they call the Lindell valve. This is what you want to find. This has a, a mix of propane and butane in here.